Hello! In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a MacBook Air 15 inch. Let's get on with it. Roll title! Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. Yes, you heard me correctly. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful beast and it is a MacBook Air 15 inch version in midnight black. Ooh. Now it's been about two years, yeah, very nearly to the day that I sort of introduced myself to the Apple ecosystem. I was a diehard Android fanboy and I thought, well, I'll give Apple a go and um, here we are. <laughs> I must admit, I've really enjoyed the switch over to iPhone. Both operating systems have their features and benefits. Uh, there are some things I don't like about iPhones. There are things I don't like about Androids. It's just, you know, horses for courses. But I've got my iPhone, I've got an iPad Pro, and uh, yeah, this just sort of felt like a natural progression. This has been primarily purchased to, for me to be able to do some work out and about a bit more and on the sofa in the evenings. I've got a gaming laptop, which I did a repair video on, which I'll stick a link to up there. And that had been my sort of workhorse. But the problem is with that, it was really big, it got really hot and the battery life was terrible. And I couldn't take it out for any extended periods of time. So I thought, well, it's getting on a bit. It needs an upgrade. So this is my upgrade. So I think what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to unbox this and do a bit of initial setup and have a little look around. It's not going to be a full techie nerdy review. It's just going to be a sort of little poke around my new toy. Also, I do apologize if you can hear a bit of a whir in the background. It's because I've got a fan on. We're in September and uh, seems to be a bit of a heat wave. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, sweating my balls off. Not literally, obviously. Anyway, so here's the box. Let's have a little look at the back of the box and see what it says. So this is the MacBook Air 15 inch with the Apple M2 chip. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. You can buy it with more RAM, you can buy it with more storage or less storage. The problem is with Apple, once you start adding more RAM and more storage, the price goes up in about 200 pounds increments which can get quite out of hand. So this model has set me back around about 1,500 pounds, which is not cheap, but you know, it's Apple. Apple stuff isn't cheap. I thought this was going to be the sort of right configuration for me and also the right budget for me. If it was any more expensive, I just probably wouldn't be able to afford it. So we get an eight core CPU and 10 core GPU. It's got a 15.3 inch screen which is a liquid retina led backlit display with true tone technology it's got a resolution of 2880 pixels by 1864 pixels uh, it's got a magsafe 3 charging port it's got two thunderbolt slash usb 4 ports a headphone jack six speaker sound system full size backlit magic keyboard and touch id key wi-fi 6 bluetooth 5.3 uh, 1080p FaceTime camera, uh, Mac OS, and it weighs 1.5 kilograms. Right, let's peel back the tabs and get this open. I'm so excited. I've been looking at these for months and yeah, I finally hit the trigger. I went in store because it's really hard because you look at these things online and you're like, well, what does, does a 13 inch display look like? What does a 15 inch display look like? And when I went in store, I thought, oh, I'd rather have the extra two inches. So uh, actually before I open the box, please do give this video a quick thumbs up now. I really appreciate it. And drop a comment below, maybe tell me what color of these you'd like. Okay, well, we'll come back to this in just a second. Let's have a look at what we've got in the box. So we have got our USB-C to MagSafe 3 charging cable. Now the MagSafe 
as the name suggests, is magnetic. So if you knock the laptop or, or someone pulls on the cable, it hopefully doesn't drag your very expensive laptop crashing to the floor. The magnet just breaks contact. Now this is two meters long, and I love that it's colored to the MacBook as well. So that is, I've got the midnight version, and so this is a midnight colored cable, which is a nice touch. You can also power this generation of MacBook Airs through the Thunderbolt slash USB-C ports. I will use this primarily because a replacement, one of these cables is like 50 quid. Right, and we've got a little booklet here, I imagine with all the getting started guides. Yes. Yeah, it's just telling you the port layouts and stuff like that. And then we've got our power brick. Now, again, when you check out, you can get a slightly upgraded power brick with a higher wattage output. So this is the 35 watt USB-C power adapter with two USB uh, connectors on it. You can get, I think it's a 70 watt one, but there's an upcharge for that. So, but I think the 70 watt one does do a lot quicker charging. Maybe that'll be an upgrade in a month or so. We will see. And then, there we go, we've got our UK power adapter, which uh, goes in like that. Perfect. So if you're traveling abroad, I believe you can get different heads. You can get a European one, USA one, etc. Nice. Wow, that is delicious. Look at it. So yeah, this is the midnight finish that I've gone for. Matches my watch. Doesn't match my phone at the moment, but it's nearly new iPhone time, so I uh, might get a midnight one. Let's lift it up. Oh, hello. <laughs> there we go, let me tip it so you can see the screen a bit. Now this part's going to be a little bit difficult because I want to do some of the initial setup, but um, yeah, I don't know how to turn on the screen recording. But that screen is gorgeous. I love the size of it. Now you might notice this little notchy thing here, that is for the webcam, and it sort of continues their design thing um, because the newer iPhones have got the notch in the top like that, and they use the dynamic island which basically pings out notifications on the side of this. Well, it does on the phones anyway. I'm not sure how it works on the laptops. Feel, it just feels really good quality. It's got a bit of weight to it. So uh, yeah, on the side here, we've got our MagSafe 3 port, the two Thunderbolt USB-C ports, and then a uh, bit of a retro uh, on the side here, got a three and a half inch headphone jack. But it's actually quite surprising just how much space the trackpad takes up. It's quite a big trackpad. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so happy. Right, hopefully it's got a bit of charge to get us through this. So I'm going to try my best to keep it angled so you can see what's going on until I can work out how to do screen recording. So on English UK, probably going to want to connect to Wi-Fi now. Oh no. Bingo, bango, bongo. I uh, don't need any accessibility options. Not now. Okay, let me just connect to Wi-Fi. Please subscribe. Okay, so data and privacy. Yep, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Migration assistance. Don't want to transfer my information. I want to sort of start again. Right, now I need to sign in with my Apple ID. I'm going to do that off camera because I can't be bothered blurring it. And also I can't remember what my password is, so I'm having to look it up. I did wonder if there'd be like a sort of a smart setup thing because when you move to a new iPhone, if you put your new iPhone near your old iPhone, it sort of starts the setup process. I'd wondered if maybe if I put my phone near this, it would start the setup process, but it didn't.
So next to the F12 key here, there's actually a touch ID pad. So it, you can actually use touch ID or your fingerprint to log in and pay for stuff and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. So something that I really like about the Apple ecosystem is just how it's all linked up. So for example, if I get a, a verification text on my phone with like, you know, like a two factor authentication with a code, if I put it into my clipboard on my phone, it gets put into the clipboard of my Mac or my iPad. So it just makes things a little bit easier. The same goes with photos and videos as well. If I take a photo or video with my phone, it's here. And so when you're making videos and stuff like that, features like that are very, very handy to have. Right, um, yeah, it's just asking what things I want on. That's fine. Do I want to turn on file vaults? Yeah, why not? Touch ID, there we go. So use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac and make purchases. Start by placing your finger and thumb on the Touch ID. Ooh, look at that. Wow. We're in. We're in there like swimwear. Cool, so you should hopefully see the screen now. Just trying to think what I can show you. Just going to photos, get started. Look, there you go, just, just all my photos from my phone, just there, that's so funny. <laughs> Love it. Oh man, it's just there, all ready to go. Cool. Right, okay, so it's got my login. Do my thumbprint, boom, yes. So this is Epidemic Sound. This is where I get all the music from the channel from. So let's go for a bit of dance, a bit of house. I don't know where that sound's coming from. It's it's a really nice sound, but look at the, the size of it. It's so tiny. It's got, well, I suppose it's got six speakers in there, but wow. Nice. Honestly, usually like on a tiny thin laptop, you've got just absolute nonsense sound, but that is Gorgeous. Let's have a little look at um, YouTube. All right, let's uh, go see this guy. Don't know who he is, looks all right. Hello there, my name is Vince from My Mate Vince. And in this video today, we're gonna to be looking at this Sony Sports Walkman. So this was sent over by Lee. See, the thing is, I'm not all that adept with the uh, Apple operating system. I'm a bit sort of slow and clunky. Let's have a little look at the camera. The camera quality for a webcam is just mad. It's actually very similar to the expensive Brio camera that I've got on top of my computer. I don't use the default mail app. I use an app called Spark. That is a really good bit of email software. I'd recommend that. It comes on your phones. You can use it on a PC, you can use it on a Mac. I definitely investigate Spark. Have a look at the old Apple TV. Amanda. Don't shoot this down. <laughs> because I've got screen recording on, it doesn't show you Apple TV because that's you could record programs from it, which is fair enough. But yeah, I love how everything just moves around. It's just... It's just so fluid. Windows do sort of similar to that in Windows 11 now. There's a bit more, you know, animation and interest, but yeah, it just doesn't feel as whoop as that does. Oh, accent color, orange. Yes, please. So it's even, it even knows about my AirPods that are connected to my phone. So it's just, it's just all there, ready to go. I love it, I really do. I'm a happy boy. I'm gonna spend a little while now getting the uh, software and everything installed on it. But look at it, it's just so nice. 
I mean, you want you want it to be for the money that you spend on it. You absolutely do. But it just, I don't know, there's just something so good about these products. Well, there's not really much else for me to say. I, I'm sorry I haven't gone too in depth, but like if I start putting all my emails on here, I'd have to blur them. And if I start putting all my work stuff on here, I'd have to blur, you know, it's, it's very hard for me to show you too much into the actual computer itself. I'm a happy chappy indeed. Excellent. Well, I don't really have much else to say, I don't think. Not really done much like this before on the channel. Um, so, you know, if there's anything I could do better or anything you'd like to see in future videos, please do put a comment below before, because it mean a lot to me. But yeah, I think that is it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.